Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Okay, so I took a little bit of a break because I was having a real difficult time with, I have one ear, so I only have one ear of hearing, um, so I have one ear which is deaf on me, so I had a really bad bout of flu and it really, really knocked me for six, so I had a short break from that, and then as it healed, it seemed to have come back quite a bit, um, and really, really came back with quite an adventure, so I had a really, really bad chest, so I took a, a bit of an extended break from my channel, but I am back. So I'm Bradley, if you're new here, please subscribe, you don't have to of course, but it would really help me out in what I'm trying to do and trying to go with my channel. Okay, so so many looks, one pair of boots. Sounds a bit strange, doesn't it? But I went out today, I start my Christmas shopping early, it's the 13th of November, I don't do this, I do it a lot, lot earlier, so I don't start Christmas now. If anybody's thinking this is early, I start way back in September. But health and things you could probably see i'm having i'm still having a bit of problems with my chest now i'm still having problems of real severe congestion not feeling on top of the world but i thought today i really needed to go out and i needed to start getting on with some christmas things because even though i've been starting from september i like it all done up wrapped up and everything by third week of november so i can enjoy the whole of the december season and look around and sort of take in all of that sort of festivities and it's particularly difficult this year um i lost my grandmother in may and it's a it's a battle every single day it really really is um so i thought today i would go out my mum is is a best friend to me so we had a really really nice time looking around at some stores and in some christmas shopping things today and it was great now I really, really like that sort of 1950s, 1960s sort of inspired men's sort of fashion style with the long trench coats, the sort of the Beatles style boots, like the Chelsea boots of the Cuban Hill. I really, really like all of that, like the ultra, like the skinny jeans, that type of thing. Really, really love all of that. Into that type of fashion. That is me. In the winter, I really, really love a high neck polo, uh, high neck polo jumper. I really, is that right? I think that's right. Yeah, these type of style of jumpers I really, really love. To me, I really, really like it. I've got grown out hair now, so I've got like a bit of a, a top knot style at the back here, which I really, really like. Then today I wore a black uh, long trench coat with a high collar, and it was probably not far off touching. Um, it was about, it was way past my knee, so it wasn't that far off the floor, to be quite honest with you. And I wore some super cool rock and roll boots, which I absolutely love. I've recently bought them. They're ultra, ultra pointed. They're that that inspired sort of Beatle, uh, you know, the band of Beatles, of course. Everybody obviously knows them. They wore these style of boots, and I absolutely love them. The Cuban heel, absolutely incredible. As you're walking along, it's that sort of, I'm not big-headed but it gives you confidence. And I truly do believe that you have to feel confident. You have to feel happy in yourself. Nobody should judge you for being you and you deserve to be you. So when I walk down the street, I like to feel happy that I'm comfortable, but I also like to look at other people. I like to think to myself that they are happy in themselves. They're happy and they're confident. So one of the things I hate is when somebody starts staring. I absolutely hate that. To me, it's like with my hearing aids. I've been in stores before and people have looked at me before and there's an example of this actually which happened to me quite a few months ago now but i was with my mum and i was in a store a clothes store here in my local town and there was like a perspex screen in the front uh, by the tills and i was queuing up and this this lovely uh, lovely girl and her mum was behind and you could see all up together really really lovely uh really really lovely little girl and i'm um, with her mother and you could tell, been brought up absolutely, you can always tell, can't you? Really brought up with manners and just stood really, really politely and just really, really nice. Exactly how you'd want your children to grow up, to be quite honest with you. Then all of a sudden, the little girl went to her mum at this behind my ears and started talking, but sort of mouthing the words. And of course, my hearing's not great, but you, you naturally build these abilities. If you can see them in the screen, you can see what's happening. And I could see her mum almost going, honestly, honestly, type thing, like trying to sort of direct her down and to stop it. And I heard her, I didn't hear her, but I seen her whisper something. And I thought, I would assume you just asked me the question. So that didn't really bother me. It bothered me that they kind of almost made a deal out of it. I would, in a way, I would have, I would have wished they would have almost, and I know people wouldn't do this, but I almost would wish somebody to turn around and say, actually, wow, how is that for you? Or how are you? Or something like that. I know people aren't going to do that, but that's what I do. If I see somebody, actually, I had a recent doctor's appointment. And as I was walking out of the doctor's surgery, there was a man sat down on the floor and I walked past and I said, are you okay? And he said, yes, fine. He was quite short with me, but I walked on and I thought I would always ask if somebody was okay. I always truly believe that we have one life. And if you, I think we have one life, why on earth would you not want to do the most you can with your life and to be nice and to be pleasant and to be helpful to people and care? That's 
truly how I feel. So when I do my soft up and I wear all of this like really cool, cool sort of rock and roll clothes or really smart attire, and I love all my jackets and my suits and things. I love all of that in the slick back hair and sort of how I am right now. Love all of that. But it's not to be confident. It's not to be cocky or anything like that. It's because that's how I like to see myself. I'm not doing it for anyone else. I'm doing it for me, which is important. I think that's what we should do. Men and women, if you want to look good, do it for you. Don't take the influence from anywhere else. Do it for you. So anyway, the looks I got today, I think about four times, maybe five times. I've seen a couple of friends in, um, in my local town as well. So I was having a chat with them. But the looks I got, and it was just literally like from head, that's that kind of horrible look which someone does. And it's almost like, wow. And you can see it. And you always think to yourself, I can see what you're doing, you know. I may be wearing two hearing aids, but there's nothing wrong with my sight. And I can actually see what you're doing. It's a bit rude. Whereas I would sooner somebody say, wow, those are really cool. Or in fact, actually, why are you wearing those type thing? As soon as somebody said that to me, I would as soon as somebody gave me the most awkward question ever, it would be put on the spot rather than someone to stare. Than someone to stare. Absolutely. I really, really would. Um, so that happened a couple of times today. I'm going to show you the boot now. And I don't normally do this. I don't normally do this at all. It's going to look absolutely huge. I have size 11 feet, by the way. My twin brother has bigger feet than me. So these are a size 11. Okay, so these are cool boots here. So as you can see, like a lightning bolt here. Cuban boots. Really, really pointed, as you can see. Absolutely. Really, really cool. So I've got like dark denim um, with like a washed on the knee. Uh, skinny jeans today. There are those with that sort of lightning strike with the um, like elastic here. Really, really, super, you think this would be super uncomfortable. It is so comfortable. It really, really is. And of course, you get that slight elevation, but it's it's the Beatles era, isn't it? Of what they wore in that rock and roll sort of era. And do you know what? Really, and I love that. It's so pointed. It doesn't hurt your toes. When you break them in, yes. But now I've broken them in. They are super, super incredible. They look like blinking boats and spaceships. I know, don't they? But do you know what? They look, they look large, but this is a size 11. And these are really, really cool. And of course, when you're walking along, that's what you see from behind. You can see I've knocked the hill a little bit there, but they look super, super cool. And with those, what I had on, as I said, was this high neck polar jumper, which I absolutely love. I think actually I may have <laughs> just spat a little bit there. I do excuse me for that. Um, so I had those on, really, really spray on skinny jeans. I absolutely love that. High neck jumper, absolutely love that. And then I had a, um, a, a black trench coat on with a high neck collar almost to the ground looks super super cool really really rock and roll really really love that but it done it for me and the amount of looks i got i just thought to myself you're actually looking at me like dirt i'm a really i would help anybody in this life i do not hate anybody at all i don't know how people can hate people and as i say we have one life why enough would you not want to do good with it why enough would you not want to help people and do the best you can for everyone you come across if i see that do you know what I always, whenever I pass people, whether it's morning or in the afternoon, I always say, good morning, good afternoon. I'll start a conversation with anybody. And do you know what I actually do? If I see a man or a woman walking along and they've got a super sort of cool, uh, I don't know, like it'd be a coat or something like that at all, or a really, really cool hairstyle, I actually tell them. If I'm walking past, I actually say really cool hair. Or I've actually walked past people before and actually asked them, where did they get that from? To be open, to be friendly costs nothing, does it at all? And to be polite and to be pleasant is nothing, is it? It's absolutely free. But then, of course, turn that on its head. Of course, somebody can be nasty and someone can be vile and somebody can make you feel so small. And of course, that's free. But why enough would you want to do that when you have one life? This world is difficult enough and it's hard enough as it is. And in life to be happy is one of the most difficult things, isn't it? And not just with everything around us, in your own head. How difficult is that on a daily basis? If you're in a job you don't particularly enjoy, if you've got things going on in the background, like me, for example, I lost my nan in May. I feel broken a lot of the time, but I still find it in within myself. That's what my nan would want. I do it for my mum, for my dad, for my family. Hurt yourself up to straighten your back to breathe and to smile. You might not be okay on the inside, but you have to sort of give that impression. You have to keep going. Life's all about keep going, isn't it? It really, really is. Everything inspires. There are so many things which inspires all of us, but to be nasty and to be unkind, no. There's no room for it. Come on, there's no room for it at all. I had those really cool boots on today. I thought they were really rock and roll. For another person, they may think they're absolutely ridiculous and look pathetic. That's your opinion. You can think what you like, can't you? But keep it to yourself. Why be unkind to somebody? Because at the end of the day, every day is different. There is enough 
unkindness, there is enough horrible things and there is enough scary things which happen to us all on a daily basis. As we move into the festivity season, as we move into the holiday season, Christmas, whatever you want to call it, Christmas is amazing. But for some people, it's a difficult time and it doesn't just bring happiness. Sadly, it doesn't just. I know that all too well. And when you actually think about it, when I've just said that, why would you not want to make somebody's life? Why would you not want to lift somebody? Why would you not want to be polite? Why would you not want to be pleasant? I got that from the people which I've seen today and the looks. I just thought to myself, just ask a question. If you find something and you're thinking to yourself, ask a question. Be polite about it and be kind of cautious. You know when you can, you know when you can't, don't you, to be quite honest with you. But ask a question rather than look. Because at the end of the day, sometimes making somebody feel like dirt or making somebody feel little or small in their own town which they lived in their whole life or in their own situation or in the decision which they have made to go out shopping or to go out for dinner or to go out and do something with their parents or their grandparents or whatever and you've made that person feel like goodness knows what you could have potentially ruined their day you don't know what that person's going through i always say never ever judge anybody ne and the saying goes doesn't it never judge somebody until you've walked is it a day in their footsteps because you don't know what that person has. There is a, an amazing analogy where there's a sea line, or I think it's like a harbour, and there's like a wooden harbour, and there's somebody sat on it, and I think it's like the analogy that the person's fishing, there's all of this under the water going on, and that's that's um, sort of like imagery of that's their thoughts going on. So it's almost like this small person on the top of this harbour, and this huge, great big scenery, and underneath this is all going on in their mind. That's what I always think. If you go past somebody and you think, wow, they're a little bit, they look a little bit out of the ordinary or they've got some really loud clothes on or they've got some really loud coloured hair or perhaps they're a little bit bigger or perhaps they're really, really super thin. It does not matter. It's none of no one else's business. They are beautiful to themselves. They are cool to themselves. Men and women, why would you judge? Why would you make somebody feel awful and small? Now, I know you're never, ever going to get every single person in this world to think like that. You're not. End of, unfortunately. How big and how diverse this planet is, you're never going to make it perfect in terms of views and in terms of how people treat one another. If only, isn't it? If only. But I think if we can sometimes take that view on ourselves and if we can listen and be open to ourselves and we can actually think, OK, would I would I tell that or would I act like that to a family member, to my mum, to my dad, to my brother, to my cousin, to my nan? No. Why do it to somebody else? Thanks very much for listening. Thanks very much for being here. Um, hope you like the boots. I think they're really rock and roll. And um, I really, really, it's great to be back. My chest is still bad and you can probably tell that I've got something kind of going on in my throat, chest and things. And it's still a bit groggy, but I'm getting there. So I'll be back real soon. It's the weekend. So really, really enjoy your weekend. Switch off, tone down and enjoy the small things because sometimes they're the most important. Okay, so take great care and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye for now.